<laughs> um, I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick video. Um, for the last couple weeks, my brothers and I have been cleaning the garage. I know it doesn't seem like it, but we really have made a lot of progress. It's actually pretty bright in here right now, if you can't tell. We installed a couple lights, um, so it's really spruced up quite a bit. But um, this has been a topic that I've really been like holding in. I wanna, I wanna explore it myself. And uh, this is my dad's drum set. It was given to him by, I believe, my grandparents, his parents. Um, God knows what the story is behind this. I don't know the full story. But I did just take a little look at it. So let me, let's me let go over the box real quick because it's pretty sweet. So as you can see, it's original packaging. Um, pretty radical, really. It's in... Uh, what I appear to be rough shape, but I was actually pretty astonished because I just kind of cracked it open. I was, I couldn't hold it anymore, but yeah, I cracked it open and I saw the newspaper, uh, that had wrapped it up. But anytime I see newspaper, the very first thing I look at is the date. So this newspaper is the Denver Post, November 17th. 1968 <laughs> so it's safe to say that this thing probably hasn't been touched since the 70s no nope. early 60s <laughs> mid 60s let's go with mid 60s and call it safe and here it is 2020 so let's call it mid 60s it was 35 55 years 55 years cheese and rice so let's take a look at what we actually have it appears to be in impeccable shape honestly for 55 years of sitting in this cardboard box god knows where i mean i can only imagine where it's been sitting but yeah get that out of there good night i'm saving that newspaper by the way but the, it actually looks to be in great shape. I don't know, because I have no idea what it's supposed to look like. But, let's see here. Okay. So the, obviously the drum needs redone. But all the plastic seems to be good. And the stainless is in good shape. It's got some damage over here. So, I don't know if that's salvageable. I would think it might be salvageable. I don't know, though. It's like cardboard on the inside. I don't know. But it's got screws in there. I think it could be saved, honestly. Um, it's just so cool. I, I just can't believe that something like this has just been boxed away. So then there's a snare. The snare seems to be, um, pristine, really. I'm going to set it up and see just what it looks like, because I'm, like, really curious right now. Rubber ground, it's a little dry rotted. It looks like the snare just goes in here, actually. Yeah. Looks about right. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got. All right. Dead would probably kill me if he saw this. How's it going? So this drum looks to be in pretty decent shape. I don't see any damage, really. Okay, that's not bad. That looks really good, actually. This is astonishing to me that it's actually lasted like this. Um, this drum, let's see how that one looks. It was on the bottom, so I'm not expecting a lot, but... Those, uh... 
don't look too bad, a little rust. I don't know what those are called, but interesting. Oh, God. Okay. Again, doesn't look bad. There's not any damage to that that I can see. I want to save the box the best I can. And then this is the little foot thing for the drum. Looks like it might be missing a part. I don't know. Regardless, the drum's in despicable shape. Okay. All right. Um, here's this little spring. I don't know what that goes to. Just see what I can do to that. And then uh, I think that might be it. Um, there's this, a, a drumstick, a drumstick, singular. Um, let's double check the newspaper and uh, make sure we're still in 1968. Um, yeah, we are. Okay. Uh, this is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to see what I can do about setting it up and go from there. We might be banging out another tune here in a couple minutes. Uh, one drumstick, of course. <laughs>